Howdy mates, here's a part two video. This is just going to be a shorter snippet. So I'm still over at the Randell Research Center, but I wanted to showcase this particular tree that you can see here and even in the background and even to my right. So some of you have probably seen these trees, but of course, for those of you who haven't, this is uh, what is known as the Gumbo Limbo tree which florida is the only state in the union that has that possesses these types of trees you won't find them anywhere else in the united states whatsoever but the gumbo limbo known as the tourist tree just because if you look at the bark here you can see that it peels just as if a tourist got sunburnt. But the ironic thing is, the bark is oftentimes used to treat particular uh, dermatological conditions. So that's the irony of it all. But uh, Gumbo Limbo is a very durable wood. It is said that, it, so it's durable, but it's also lightweight. So, one of the uses for Gumbo Limbo, at least in the commercial industry, it was used for the longest time to build carousels. Like, you know, the carousel horses? They, this type of uh, wood was used and was carved to make those. And for another, for many... Uh, airplane model enthusiasts even I was for a, a short period of time in my life the same type of wood is used which is also goes by another name of balsa wood I'm sure some of you have of course heard of that well same thing that type of wood was used for Model airplanes. Now, in terms of whether it still is, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that's something I will need to clarify because, yeah, I, like I said, I'm not 100% on that. But anyway, that is another use. Yep. Definitely, it's also known to be semi deciduous so what that means is as it gets into the latter part of the year fall even going into winter the tree will lose some of its leaves but not all of them it'll keep like a small portion but uh yeah gumbo limbo is very versatile in terms of where it can grow uh it can grow in nutrient poor soil which florida has a lot of that given that most of the soil is sand and sand doesn't really retain nutrients that well just because of how porous it is and for another you know there is another point that i had to discuss uh, it's definitely one of those types of trees that uh, once they germinate you will have a chance to grow them that, that's the thing generally with a lot of plants is some people think like okay let's just put the seed in the ground and then that's that just let it do its thing well the thing is sometimes when you do that that seed is dormant and so you have to initially provide some growth condition in order for it to germinate and then once it's germinated is when you plant it into the ground and it will then successfully grow so a little tidbit on there for you guys so all right Kind of seeing that a storm is soon coming my way, 
So I'm going to uh, wrap it up. All right. Take it easy, you guys. Jerry Wednesday. Take care.